Hello, Mr. James, uh, James Thumber Thumberworth. I have been looking at your, uh, resume, and you look like a shoe-in for MIT. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's no big deal. But, of course, policy dictates that I have to ask you a few questions. Sorry about that. So, tell me a bit about yourself. Oh yeah, I, uh, was born... I forgot how many years ago. Uh, but, you know... Been making it by since then. It's only a diamond in it. A lot, but... You know, I'm alive! So, uh, how did you get involved with science? Well, I, uh, did a little bit of, you know, freelance chemistry. People on the street call me a bit of a doctor. Oh, well, wow. interesting. I never knew you did anything else. Now, tell me, what makes you want to study quantum physics? Well, you know, I, uh, it, what, quantum? Yeah, quantum. And, uh, physics. Everything's physical, right? Uh, quantum physics. It's self-explanatory. Oh, wow. I've never really heard any of that type of perspective. By the way, by the way, uh, is there food in this institutional, whatchamacallit? <sighs> we offer three meals a day served by our full-time kitchen staff. But now, let's get back at the matter at hand. What do you plan to do after graduation? Oh, g get a job in a house, ideally. Okay, okay. But academically, what do you plan to do? A I can do what now? Hmm. Final question, and this is n this one is not on the list, but I just want to know. How much did you help the team that made the microfission reactor? A, a micro what now? You you need to stop using these dang fancy words. I can't understand diddly squat. It Excuse me, Mr. Thumb Thumberworth? What, what's the matter? And, and stop, stop right there. Why do you keep calling me that thumble whatever? My name is Bernard. I live on the street. Security!